What happens if there is a reaction? Then you get locked down. Something that has never happened whilst I've been here. Never happened while I've been here. I've never ever had a reactor. It's, it's devastating it for is, the dairy industry. The deer over there, Ben. 80 to 90% of the deer that he autopsied uh, had TB. You're playing a brave game there, pal. Problem is, Nigel's on his own. All the heifers have come. So he's got no one to follow. There we go. That's the best way to move him. Good morning, everyone. From the title of this video, you will know that we got struck down with TB. This is going to be my TB story. It's a three part video how it happened, what the government did, DEFRA, animal health. We had to go through a different kind of testing as well called a gamma test. Never knew it happened before, and then how we got out of it. I think the big question is going to be why didn't you publish it straight away? You'll see in this video that. Like I just had to relive watching this video and it's absolutely horrendous. Like I had tingles in my hand watching the video. It's like when you go, when I go to a tall building and you look down, you get that tingling, like it's just devastating. But we explain a lot of this in the video. I edited it as I was thinking of editing it, how I just normal TV, get it on. We're having a joke, we're having a laugh and then things change very, very quickly. My dad in 55 years, is he 66, has never had it, never struck down on his farm. Um, down south there's a real big problem with it but like for us it's not really a thing too much obviously we tb everything coming on uh, we don't bring anything back on if it's come off the farm without being tb tested absolutely horrendous it is devastating and it's just opened a lot of questions of how this could happen and we'll see this in the next video and the next video has gone down the other thing as well why it just took me a little bit of time to get this out is I had to think past YouTube. You know, I post my whole life on YouTube, so I have a responsibility to post this. A, to show awareness of what happens, um, and B, if I can help show awareness and help the general public know what happens on a farm with TB reactors, that would be amazing. But the other thing as well, I have a business past this. I have, we sell our milk direct, we sell our beef direct. I'm gonna make sure, I have no idea, I've never thought about it. Yes, milk gets pasteurized. That was back, what, 40 years ago to get rid of tuberculosis in milk. We stopped doing raw milk in February, which is amazing. There are some really, really good raw milk producers who are in that kind of area who sometimes get struck down and they are amazing at educating the general public. And I'd like to be better at that as well. I just watched them and I'm fantastic. I chatted to a few of them as well. Uh, chatted to a lot of people. Beef wise, I was like, can I sell my own beef? That is what we do in the farm shop. That is also why I want to produce it on the farm, sell it through the farm shop. Speaking to Animal Health was really, really good to be fair. And they said everything that gets slaughtered is checked for TB. So some farmers don't know they've got TB. It goes to slaughter and they find TB lesions. So it comes back to them and their farm gets restricted instead of doing the skin test. So all our beef does get checked before we had this, like for the last six years as we've been putting it through the farm shop and it all gets tested afterwards. And so it was one cow obviously and this is going to be a story of what happened which is today second video is what the government did gamma tests and see and healthy animals die it, it and that is true and you will see that healthy animals are less than we thought but they will and you get the results back and it's nothing in them uh, and then getting out of it as well obviously we've sold some animals in auctions um, we have to be tb clear for that obviously uh, we spoke to brock spoke to auctioneers let them know what happened a couple of the guys who bought my heifers the other day which a video will come soon let them know just chat them you know it just because it's just the right thing to do obviously let local farmers know as well um i missed a couple of them i apologize for that before they got the letters out it's just i had to get my head around it and that was the big thing i had to get my head around it and then yeah the time spent on it. The main thing is milk gets pasteurized, the beef is healthy at the farm shop, and now it's time to tell you guys because I have, like I say, an obligation I feel like. I do all my whole life on it. The good, the bad, and the ugly, we're definitely hitting ugly. So, not really hope you enjoy the video, uh, but if you have any questions, be in the com put it in the comment section below, and in the next TB video, which will be Tuesday, um, I'll answer those. Uh, I might just do a bit of a live on Sunday, we've got something coming cool, um, but I want to answer all the questions, I want to be as transparent as I can. A big thank to Lizzie as well, doing the TB, and she was amazing, really, really good. Um, yeah, you can see I had a real bad day, real bad day. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Stop there, see what you think. <laughs> it's a nice occasion. So that is the crush set up on a Sunday morning. I've just announced that a human baby is uh, currently in my wife's stomach. It's very exciting. Um, but obviously the job doesn't stop. Crush is set up. That's good. Good, so, we're happy with this little setup. And we'll um, 
Well, we're very lucky that we've got this little track sectioned off so we can move cattle from place to place. It's good for the lads and it is hard this, we can get on that field when Salah and get on that field. But the work over the top, penned well, it's good, they'll go downhill into there. Then we can bring these across, put them there, and yeah. It'll work, won't it? As, as I said, he said we can make two gates fill one hole, but you can't make one gate fill two holes. He likes that saying too. I like those saying. You've got to have them in the book, you see. <laughs> book number two. Tell you what, I could use those gates, I'll leave them there, because yeah. we might go saves you know if you get to the last few, oh, yeah, yeah. If you, you can put uh, them across couldn't you I, I would actually that's what we're doing we're take them. Them to, well take them into the, if, they, if they go in there i'll, I'll tip them on the man or two and just tip them tip in on there. the other side yeah cows are just coming in while they're out of that area first side are on milking let's get to the field let's get to our crush let's get tv in pray for tom get it <whistles> get back Like every, then when you prepare as much as you can. So we've got these in here, we've got two gates there. We've got two that would not come in. They've just come in nice and slowly. These were on the wrong side of another fence. So we did get the vet here for half six. And I don't even know what time, it's probably quarter two, it's not too bad. I think we are ready. ready. Sorry about that. 51, 61. We have Jupiter here. Everything. Good morning everyone. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. Today we have Lizzie, the vet tech, the TB specialist. We have Joanna on the notes, and we have myself and Ben pushing cows up. So obviously yesterday you see we put the crush ready and we are TBing. The reason why we are TB, we've stopped doing raw milk for the farm shop because we all the dairy stuff going on. I told the vet and he's like, okay, cool, give him a week's notice before you know the end date, and then um, I'm sure it'll be fine. We had TB booked in, uh, but obviously we're not doing raw milk, we're in TB4, which means we can TB every four years. But you need to notify him two months before the TB window opens, if that makes sense. Our window opened on the 26th of whenever it was. It was had, so we need to tell them in January. And obviously, we're still doing raw milk until the end of February, so we didn't know what was going on. So, we're gonna have to TB everything. So, we have about 360 to TB, I think. So, absolutely loads. Bit of a cock up. We don't buy anything in. I don't know if we do buy in, which is the bulls or anything like the Highland Bull comes in. Every gets TB before it. You would we'll be on the records. Just spoke to Defra and was like, I spoke to them, I was like, well, we don't do anything, we should be in a TB4. Like, doesn't matter, it's been activated. It's a case of. <whistles> Come on, use. <whistles> get away, get away. Computer says no. When computer says no, we've all got to do this. Isn't it great, Lizzie? Oh, we're having a time of our lives. The best. Fortunately, we have a good team. Um, I'm going to be mixing and matching today. Obviously, Luke started milking over the road. We've got to do all the dairy cows, all the young stock, and everything is outside, which is just amazing. Got to these things are set to try us. Oh, and we're pouring concrete for the parlor today for the main floor as well. I've never been this high. And you keep smiling at me. And my heart's like, ooh, how'd you like to spin around with me? So that's how we do a few of them. It's quite a good setup. I think we're doing all right, Ella, do you think? Yeah, we're doing good. This is one of the short horns. Looking sexy AF. As everyone would agree, is the first. I don't actually know how many in this group. Done, they're just doing the last ones now. The plans to get these out whilst we're here. How many have we done? Uh, 36? No. Nope. I hope it's not 36. Uh, 56. 56, that's not bad. It's done well and back well. My, my, my maths is not good. Dad's just going to tie them. <laughs> Running. Fitness. Fit this pizza in my mouth. a nice spot in the shade but unfortunately happy the sun is coming up we don't like the sun do you know who does like the sun <laughs> this girl <laughs> the sun is coming up tomorrow bet your bottom dollar that anyone gonna face that for me no that tomorrow thank you lizzie that be sun. this group number two done it's about 10 to 9 9 o'clock ish so yeah happy 
currently with that. Oh, a deer! A deer over there, Ben! There's a deer! That's cool. You come around this way, Ben, and I think we'll just be able to... <laughs> Dad, you get out. You, you might be better staying there. Idiot. Problem is, Nigel's on his own, all the heifers have come, so you've got no one to follow. I'm on foot, um, I'm close to the gate, so, and I don't want to try and get him. So I said to Dad, just get a tractor. It's when they are not with heifers, that's why the best time to move a ball is with heifers. So, I don't want to do it. I'm not, <laughs> I don't want to do it, I'm not doing it. There we go. That's the best way to move him. Then he turns around, you've won. He's going now. Just turn his head, and now he's trying to look for the girls. So, and the other thing as well, staying near the tractor. So if anything happens, I can jump on that. Minnie's with the girls. To be fair, a bit of a run, he might just do it. Might tire him out as well. There we go, he knows where he's going. So the getaway and they're just going down the side now. Nigel's in the middle which is where we want him. He's just there. You can see. Oh God. There we go. So we are just TB in. Big Nigel is in. Lizzie is doing a great job. We can weigh him as well. 990. Just shy of a ton. How thick is he Lizzie? 19 <laughs> and 20. I can't find the and Joe's helping as well. Oh, it'll be first, it'll be at the front. Sweating, hat is off. Joanna is still wearing five million layers. <laughs> but you'll be warming out with the sun, eh? Yeah, if it warmer. You need I, your goggles. I think it's time to I've got my sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses. So we've just done Sandy. So she was born ginger with no hair. And my uh, best mate, my best man, was born. It's ginger, he's got no hair. So yeah, he was ginger. And uh, Joe, what did you say? Okay, it's our smallest number. Smallest number, so she's got the thinnest skin, which is interesting. So it might have been to do with having no hair when born. She's doing well. You can tell, doesn't he? Yeah. 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 How many we've done there? 150. Yeah, 150. 150, just 200 yeah. to go. So with this crush as well, instead of putting it on the tires, you can put it on the pallet forks. So we've kept the gates on it. So only I got to do eight on the other side of the farm, and Dad's just going to drive it to the other place. Got to love it. And uh, I'm going to go for some breakfast. Dad has set the crush up ready for the cows over the road, we only have it. And then obviously we have to Tom's Highlands. 12 and 12. 12 and 12, everybody. Woo! So every time we finish a row, we get a... Woo! Woo! That's three rows. Another 15 to go. So that is all of them done. Well, let's say we've got two left. Just eight here, and then we've got the two Highlands loop. Jobs are good. Yeah, but it's going in. All is learning about cows, the girls are smashing it and I'm like just fluttering between both. Joe's on the book, Lizzie's obviously clipping cows. They do not like it. They're not used to this routine at all. It's so much better when we do it through the old footpath and do it all the time. But yeah, we're, we're trying, we're trying. Right, let's get a few done because it is very, very hot. Well, the guys are happily just TBing over there, they don't really need me, so I'm prepping for those highlands. But have you ever seen a Angus in a sand paddock? It's the best time of his life. <whistles> um, you missed the gate. You're playing a brave game there, pal. Come on. 
Oh, for God's sake. So the team are going to do these little ones. They found a little method. We cannot get that crush in here, which we never have done before. But because Rob's truck's here, Rob Ashcroft, best concrete in the world. Um, because that truck's here, we can't get it in, I don't think. I could maybe just, but I don't want to take the risk as well. That truck's so expensive and they seem to be doing quite well. Just squeezing them in. Seven Calves are nice six. and calm, which is good. Oh, yeah, again, watch out. Oh, and yes, oh, I am still so here. So glad that would have been, because that would have really She said she'd leave at three. Blow. It's currently, what time are we saying? Five. Five plus five. We're doing well. Right, so I'm gonna leave those two to it. This thing is Islands are, um, yeah, exciting. Are you still playing in the uh, sand? Good girl, look at that! You did so well! happy with that position? Yeah, I'm happy. Vet's happy. Harriet's not the happiest. So we've not actually videoed what we're doing. I know we've videoed TB. 14, 13. 14, 13. So what Lizzie's done, you can just see she's just trimmed the edge there. And then you've jabbed them with what? Avian tuberculin. Yeah. And then the bottom one is Clothine tuberculin. Yeah. And then we took a measurement as well, 13, 14. Yeah. Lizzie and Joe have worked fantastically together. And then we test in 72 hours, don't we? Yep, on Thursday. And then what happens if there's no reaction? They just go, they're Nothing. all good. What happens if there is a reaction? Then you get locked down. Yeah, but what, what, what happens to oh, the numbers? So if the top one is bigger than the bottom one, you're all right, because it just is avian tuberculin. If the bottom one is bigger than the top one, then that's when there's a problem. And they can either be inconclusive, so they're on the border, or they can be a clear reaction. What's the border line between mil? Uh, about two mil. Two there mil. is a sliding scale of a graph, and that that's how you read them. What number are we, darling? Tell you in a minute. Zero three twenty six. Yeah. Happy. Come on, Harriet. Out you go. Don't wanna waste another minute or a second. Happy. It's 360 animals done in 11 and a half hours. That took a long time. It was the milk cows that I didn't film a lot that just took forever. The milk times, 11 and a half hours. Good hustle team. Big shout out to Ben for coming in and out. Came out of the shop early because he helps a lot in the shop. We've got Libs, came last, but she was here. Um, obviously, Liv and Joanna smashing it together at Gill Power. Absolutely smashed it. Uh, Ollie, Luke, heroes. This was a massive effort. The the young stock, which I thought was going to be the hardest bit, flew for it really did well. The cows didn't like it. The cows don't really have a routine. Last year we put them through the foot bath and it worked really well. They got foot bath and they got TB because it just constantly, because it was something they knew. They didn't like the way that we were doing it. it. Just had to be done. So everything's been done. We've got to check them on Thursday. Fingers crossed, everything works out. See you Thursday. Day two of TB and I have the camera on a better lens. Sorry for the narrow and really close to my face. Luke started milking. Ben's just scraping that side down. We're going to do it differently for the milking cows. But uh, Luke found a um, an egg. What a weird place for an egg. Right, we're going to just move a couple of hay bales, put some meal in there, and then we're going to go over the road, get ready. Ready, city, go! Watch out! Oh. Uh, should be easier today. Should be easier today. So we're on day two. Joanna is back. We can actually see her. She is back. And Ben is back. Hello, Ben. We'll get some done and then we'll see how we're doing it. Team oh, over.
is a tick. If the top number is higher, we're all good, eh? Yeah, strictly speaking, as long as the top has gone bigger than the bottom, we're okay. We're good. Happy with him? Yeah. That is one of the big Angus's we were struggling to get in last time. No lumps. Good. Come on, one. Last ones of this group. There's Highland Cross. There's Angus. That's the first group done, isn't it, darling? Done, yeah. You're a lovely pet. You're a lovely pet. You like that one? I do like this one. Alright, I'll You're take it home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our, our cows are very, very friendly, which is definitely not a bad thing. Okay. So that's first one's done. We've got the Highland Crosses in here. Uh, you can see they're just a little bit more fluffy, but they're definitely more broad, like big shoulders. It's definitely a good idea to mix them. It works for us. I'm a dream. Here I am, two seconds. All looking well. T shirt like gate. I'll move these on. This car's cool. So he is 600 and 60354. Where will he be? He might be at the be, front yeah, to yeah. start. He's fine. I've not got it. He was 990. Happy with him? I'm happy. Happy with Nigel. Let him go. He's going to 90 last time. He might, he might go to 990. Yeah, there we go. He's put on. Um, we've got 996. He's put six kilos. To, like, I think he's at, no, I think he was on minus four. So I think he's put on put on two kilos since last time. Nearly as much as my wife. Because she's pregnant though, so you've got <laughs> Okay, that was a bad, that was a bad, that was a bad, bad, bad statement. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> don't anger it. I did I didn't I, I was trying to You don't know how much weight I've put on. <laughs> that was a bad idea, I'm sorry. Two? Did you just do yeah, two? Yeah, I'll give you two. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't anger the wife. But Nigel was good. He came in last last time. He's learning. It's very, it's very, I told you, isn't it? The problem with Nigel, he doesn't know what he's doing. Do you know how many layers I've got? How many layers yes. you got? I'm going with five. Five? Yeah, it looks like a five layer. It's 15 over. <laughs> so that's all we're doing. We're checking if the. Yeah, so you've got to check if they come up with lumps. If they come up with lumps, I measure them. Yeah. And then there's a chart that Joanne's got on there and then you read what they've gone up by but as a rule of thumb if they've gone up more at the top than at the bottom you're all right that'll do so it's just over 150 done this morning in an hour and a half we're happy team bossing it i'm freezing cold 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 uh, we're gonna go over the road this cow here she's gonna carve soon you can just see can you just see there see that she's gonna carve so we'll bring her on um, but we'll set up and we'll get we'll move these heft cows. I'm actually going to move the cows in the field next to it. There's not a lot of grass here, but we didn't want to move them off of that one because it's easier to get them off the one they're on now. So uh, we're going to put them to the field. So look at that. Well excited. Oh, maybe should have grabbed that one as well. Uh oh. Beautiful. He's having a bit of a hop and a skip. That's nice, isn't it? All heads down, eating. Just doing the highlands over the road now. Yeah, she's 
bag. For the milk cows, we've got something different. We're gonna go down the bale. The crew might have to open this up maybe a little bit more. We're gonna go down the bale into the collection yard. So they've got nowhere to go. Yesterday or Monday was a big turning. There's a lot of effort and a lot of pushing. So the plan is have it like this and fingers crossed. It's gonna be a little bit easier. But... You can obviously see we're all here. We did 287 and then we've got number 78 back here. And something that has never happened whilst I've been here, never happened while I've been here, I've never ever had a reactor. So I've had some inconclusives that I wish have passed and no problem, but never had a reactor. There's two things here. The question is why and how? And that's a worry, not just for us, it's for everyone in the area. It's yeah. TB and it's his. But the next question is, could we have made a mistake? I don't think so because yeah. that doesn't happen. But the big thing is now this cow is unfortunately going to have to be slaughtered and then it's going to be tested internally. However they do it, I have no idea. But They'll go to the abattoir and they'll yeah. culture it. And if it cultures positive in the abattoir, then it is a definitive, this animal has got TB. Yeah. And if it doesn't, then we go from there. But you will now be in a restriction of yeah. six months, six months, 12 months. But hopefully, best case scenario, it'll go and culture and it'll be negative. That, but well, unfortunately, that, we, regardless... We have to do it that way. Yeah. And we're not the only ones in this game. No, no, it, it's no. Getting, it's getting more and more common, unfortunately. More, more prevalent. Yes, prevalent. yes, it is. Obviously, uh, I don't know what your wildlife population is around here. We saw some deer the other day. So yeah. I was speaking to a gentleman that worked for APHA and he had a job for a while. If, if there was ever dead deer on farms or deers that had broken their legs and he got a phone call, he would slaughter them and he would autopsy them and he said 80 to 90 percent of the deer that he autopsied uh, had TB. Yeah. 80 to 90 percent I thought that was incredibly high. That is so that. we don't yeah. buy anything in. No. We bought Nigel and gets TB before he got here. We had the the Lord which and, is a yeah, uh, Highland. Highland and also Neptune beforehand. Yeah. Everything's if anything we buy in has been TB for the last yeah. 20 years. Yeah. Now we've never had But that's heifers. only bulls we don't buy heifers in. We don't bought yeah. any live steels looking. And they also don't come nose to nose with your neighbours, do they? No. 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 They, don't no. they don't graze nose to nope. nose. No, 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 no. no. There's, there's no we're, contact. We're a closed herd. Mm. Totally closed herd. So this is coming from the air. From Some, the somewhere. But maybe. The, the, maybe. The best case well, scenario, because the test has a, a certain... Element of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. As everything, as everything does. But as you can see, even without measuring it, you can see that the, the bottom one, which is the bovine TB, yeah. is significantly bigger. Yeah. Than the top and one. we measured how big, how much bigger is it? Uh, so it was seven over eight on day one, and it's now ten over eighteen. So, so it's all about that bottom one. Yeah. Uh, and you can see whilst we're making this TV video, we're very it's me still in the pocket. No, we're no. very casual about this because it doesn't happen. It but does not happen. Gone up three on the bovine, gone up ten, straight to red. Straight to red. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the next one about this is obviously it, it's devastating properly the worst thing to happen on any farm and whether it be badgers whether it be deer whether it be other uh, nature moving mm. stuff about it's, it's devastating it for is, the dairy industry it it's awful yeah. and especially in the southwest it's even worse that's it and that's it like down south you tend to expect this because yeah. down south it is very prevalent whereas up here like today we've we've had a laugh and we've, yeah, yeah, we've yeah. been getting them through because you yeah. just didn't, I just didn't think it would happen. No, no, unfortunately, it does happen. So this cow's now going to have to get quarantined. We've got the vet coming as well because uh, Lizzie's a vet tech. Obviously, she's trained in TB uh, with a qualification, uh, but we need to keep this thing. So this is a proper, proper, like a proper. Yeah, it's, it's a kick devastating. This to kick up the nuts, really. But she'll have to go to slaughter. The sooner we get the test results back, the better, Absolutely. and we can move forward. Hopefully, it's not going to spread to any of the others. It's an isolated case, and hopefully, it is. A misinterpretation, absolutely, and it could easily be because the yeah, family. And that's and that's why we're having this conversation now because yeah. we we can't believe that this has happened. No. Dad's been farming what for sixty five uh, uh, years, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and we never had a reactor on this farm. No, no. So where's it come from and how? No, and and, and we're doing this every twelve months for yeah. the raw milk, but you are actually in a, a four, four yearly, yeah. so yeah. there's no TB around you. 
Yeah. But this could, could affect other people around it as well. It will affect anybody within a three kilometre radius of you. So Pilkingtons and our neighbours and Kirkhams who are milking cows. Everyone. So yeah, shout for all my neighbours. So apologies on my side. I, I, we have no idea where this has gone. Come from. No idea. Cannot believe it. Well, obviously we don't do raw milk anymore. I'll, if we settle them cows, I'll leave them to. Yeah. You're not going to come back to a totally different environment. Where? That's a good one. I, I don't. Sweet. So, um, just had another chat about it. Can't do anything about it. Fingers crossed. Like, I reckon, it's, I don't think, what's annoying is the restrictions. I generally don't think there's, you know, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. We don't buy anything in. There's nothing around us. We should be in a four year league. You could, you, the best case scenario is it's just the sensitivity of the test and they'll culture it, they'll say it's clear and we'll move on. We'll just have to go in a six months, six months, 12 months and then they'll be like, yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> if, if she cultures, I think. But how would you wait for that? It varies. Right, we're going to keep going. Let's see what we can do. So just a little bit of a chinwag about it. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to keep going. I think it's just we don't see anything else. Hey, I'm behind, I'm, I'm sorry, it's going to take me a while. That's the first lot, we've got a few more just to push around now, and then we'll see. Still only the one, one more than ever. That was a shit Yeah, you'll look back in maybe six years time and we'll look back. I think we'll look back. 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 In December, week. and we'll think, actually this year, we did this, we did that, we did this. We'll be a baby and everything's fine. I've said we did that. I don't know about nine five. She's fine. Charlie, the vet has just arrived. I'm going to discuss to him and then we'll discuss to him. Do you want the other one or does it matter? Whichever one you want. And that will take a sample out of it, will it? Yeah, so I'll keep the little thing that comes out of this. There you go. You right there, yeah. There's a little bit of DNA in the in the bottom of here. So this canister gets sent off. And uh, with a little bit of tissue of hers in. Uh, Charlie's just confirmed that this cow does have TB. Pretty much everything that we've talked about already. So she'll get killed in the next, how long? Uh, I think week. Week she'll get picked up. Yeah, when they when they come. We'll get sent away, she'll get tested, the lesions will get tested, and then fingers crossed it comes back negative. You said one in ten thousand? Yeah, something like that. It's false positive. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. This is really Right, we're gonna get these cows done, get the dry cows done, I can't be asked doing the other stuff. So we'll uh well I can't be asked filming, so we'll uh chat in a bit. See you. Just got the Highlands to do now, so there we go. Just like this. So she is 19 over 15. What's her um, number? Are you happy with her? Yeah, do we know who she is? Uh, Megs. Megs. So, Megs, Megs, Megs. Happy, Lizzie? Yeah, happy. She's got two lumps this island. So she is 19 yeah. over 14. So she's okay. She's all right. Woohoo! 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 Done! See, that's a bit more different than normal. 